Hi all. Let's start with today's topic ALB with IDA. IDA represents integrated data access. This, this is an advantage over traditional way of displaying ALB. The differences are the first difference is the speed. With ALP IDA, it is much faster than the normal ALV. How come this speed is achieved? In normal ALV, we retrieve all the data, build the catalog, and show the ALV. So the entire data is fetched and kept in an internal table. But with ALV with IDA, we only fetch the records that fit to the visible area. Whatever the record we can show, only those many records we fetch from database. So as we fetch less number of records, so it is faster. Same with the memory consumption. As we fetch only the records that fit into the visible area, so the memory it consumes is less. Wherever traditional ALB, what happens? We fetch all the records to an internal table. So the memory consumption is more. Another is data retrieval. What happens? In ALB, data is retrieved in internal table in the program. In the program, in the application layer, we get all the data to the application layer because data is retrieved. But with IDA, we just pass the table name. Data retrieval is taken care by ALB. So data retrieval is taken care of by ALB. You do not worry to fetch the data. You pass the table name, data is retrieved. But in normal ALB, you retrieve all the data to an internal table in application layer. So that by the way data is retrieved, it is different. Another thing is how the data is displayed. Here, all the records of internal table will be shown on ALB. However, with ALB IDA, not all the records, record which fill the visible area displayed. What is the benefit? If your table has huge number of records and you do not want to show all the records, you have a control with ALB IDA, how many records you want to display. But in normal ALB, we do not have. Whatever the data is fetched to an internal table, is displayed. However, here, whatever the data we want to display, that will be displayed. Then coming to scrolling, sorting, and filtering. These options are done at application layer. If you want to do with uh, something filtration or sorting or filter scrolling, all these are handled at the application layer. But in ALP with ID, all these activities for all these activities, a SQL query is triggered. You want to filter when query is triggered to the database takes care of filtration. You want to do sorting. One query generated, sent to database to get it sorted. But in ALV, if you want to sort the query or the logic, you have to write or the logic gets executed application layer. So anyone, if, if they will ask you what is the advantage, why I go with ALV with IDA, I am happy with ALV only. The reason is speed less memory consumption, data retrieval taken care by ALB, display the data that fits not all entire records, all the data. Some of the processing of filtration, sorting, scrolling taken care by database, not by the application layer. Anything that you do, the actions in query generated and sent to database. We'll create one program to show how powerful is ALB with IDA. The class that you'll be using is class SALB GY table IDA. See, there are different tables, different classes. With ALB IDA, you can show the table. You can also show the CDS view. See, this class will change. It will be class SALB GY table it will be serious it's easy to find out so for us it is un to understand we're not building the catalog 
We are not fetching the data. We are just giving the table name or CDS view name. We get the ALB. As simple as that. This is the class. We are giving the table name. Full screen mode display. Okay. Let's see. We we'll create a program. We are in HANA Studio. Above perspective. Last time I explained you the perspectives, how to go for it. Windows perspective, open perspective, and you can choose above perspective. And I'm going to show a flight. If I execute this program, if execute this program, this ALB will be generated, ALB IDA. It's all these options are there. Filtration is there, summation is there, print, sorting, all the options are there. It's very simple. These are the advantages. What is disadvantage of it? There are some restrictions as well with ALB IDA. What are the restrictions? The data display is restricted to a maximum of 2 billion cells. If the data goes beyond 2 billion cells, it cannot handle. All available operations are then executed on the entire data set. Aggregation of amount filled with currencies or quantities can be displayed when same currency or unit. String is not supported. So the key differentiating factor we have to remember. 2 billion cells is the restriction. If you have a field with string, it cannot display. And you cannot schedule a program with ALB IDA as background job. These three very important differentiating factor you can remember. We cannot show the field having data type string in ALB IDA is limited by 2 billion cells that you can show. And you cannot run the program in background if your program uses the feature of ALB IT. Another uh, restriction is that it is not that all the HANA support, all, all the uh, versions is, supports ALB IT. Before you go to use ALB IT, first check is your system qualifies to use ALB ID. How do we check that? This is how you check. You create an object, class FALB GUI table IDA, call the method database capabilities. Okay. Then the method you call is table supported. And you give the table name. So only if it is supported, ALB IDA is supported, and for that specific table, you go and create the object for ALB IDA. And as I said, you can control how many rows you want to display with set maximum number of rows. Okay. You can go to that class, you can see all the features, no need to remember. Just you need to remember the class name, that will be enough. From the class name, we'll identify in what are different uh, like methods and how to control how many rows you are going to show. Basically, in the previous slide, it was one line. It is like class and is the method. And in that, you're calling the full screen method and display. You see here, it has been broken down. Full screen display, hello IDA is create. So this part is creating this object wherever you can see this part is creating object then full screen display let's try to understand what what is there in this class go to this class i want to go to the class i can also go uh, sap gui or i can call sap gui here I want to see what are all different attributes and methods supported by class GUI ALV. SC24. This class uses this interface and the methods is create and another method is create for serious view and you can say 
db capabilities okay so this this class same class if you want to use uh, any dictionary table use the create if you want to show the cds view create for cds view you go to the slide you use the create method if you want to show a table and if you go to the class it has a create for cds view if you have a cds view already created and you want to use it you can put it here okay just have, have a look at this class and see how it's written we no need to worry about how this class is implemented basically we need to understand how we are going to use the class so this is how we use the feature alb with ida and how it is beneficial in terms of speed memory consumption sorting scrolling filtering data display and data retrieval and the restriction the limitations with alb ida example like background job not possible and how many maximum sales it can display if the data type is string cannot display so these are the restrictions further we also need to check this capability is supported or not db capability same class class salb gui table iga same class you check if db capabilities is supported is table supported method okay so that's all about alb iga advantages limitations how to use alb iga to show uh, alb Suppose the way you are showing the table, you want to show on CDS view. Instead of the create method, you call create for CDS view and you pass the CDS view name. That is the only change between the dictionary tables and the CDS view. Now save, activate. If you run this program, you will see the output from the CDS view. So this is the CDS view output. You can see. This is the output of CDS view, and now it showed the ALB. Just a single line of code, you are able to show the ALB. If it is normal ALB, you have to uh, write code to build the internal table of data retrieval and catalog and show it. So, this concludes how to use ALB IDA, advantage of it, limitations of it, of it and how we can show a dictionary table, also we can show one CDS view.